uh, a new plaza was going in here and the conversation was about how to uh, create a process for a new kind of uh, sharing of, of space and, and new engagement, sorry. Uh, one of the things that I shared with the Queen's Museum is that I didn't really want to design the plaza, that, that I didn't see that as the, 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 the project here, but more about designing the pro engagement processes that would have conversations that would leave even behind uh, groups of people that can advocate and have conversations around how public space is used. Um, so uh, I created, the, we started with this, uh, the, the design agency team and I created this series of, uh, uh, of signs, uh, we call them lo-fi augmented reality, um, that allowed people to see the plaza in different ways through plexiglass, uh, allow us to uh, have conversations going back to the, the themes around privatization, public and uses in Spanish and English. And then out of that, we identified uh, five major items that people were talking about, the social services, green spaces, mobility, local economies and community programming. Uh, we decided to turn this and, and at the time I was actually also teaching and working in Medellin, Colombia with an actual theater of the oppressed group that had been doing urban planning. And so the, these questions were on my mind. But we decided to create a game, uh, a negotiation game. Uh, each of these five items got three uh, pieces, and uh, so 15 total. And, uh, and we created a 12 uh, piece board. Um, the, and then through prompts, uh, the idea was to get people to, to have conversations. It was a game without a winner or a loser or no real no real aim except to have the conversation itself. So we, this, this is what that looked like. This is the, the plaza uh, one winter, uh, I think in 2011 and 2012. Um, and people stood for hours in the snow playing the game, uh, talking about what, it, you know, with each move, talking about what that meant, you know, uh, the fear of people uh, for what would happen to, to the Tamala lady that stands there, the fear of more banks and more um, uh, cell phone stores coming in and, and replacing the kind of um, the kind of retail uh, activities that actually give uh, a, a lot of the immigrants here their first job. <laughs>